everyone welcome to the channel in this video I'm gonna be doing an equipment breakdown for everything I use to make these videos I've been asked a couple of times what kind of camera do I use what kind of hiking sticks do I use so with the upcoming season in Yellowstone National Park it's gonna be our Yellowstone Summer of Adventure 2024 and speaking of that if you guys could hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications while I got you that would be great because you're not going to want to miss out on any content from Yellowstone National Park. So this is basically what I use and we'll go ahead and start with what I'm being filmed on right now which is a GoPro Hero 10. Now I know they have an 11 and a 12 but I got this 10 a couple of years ago and it works great. The image quality is really good, the image stabilization is perfect, shoots in 4K, I've gotten used to using it so in my mind there's no really no need to upgrade the GoPro if it's working so and it's really my workhorse and it's gonna be my workhorse again this season it's what I'm gonna be using primarily for my hiking and my vlogging like I'm doing now but I've also added to the lineup this year a Canon EOS R8 and I bought the digital creators kit from Canon which comes with a shotgun mic with a wind sock or what we call a dead cat um, it has a flippy screen LCD screen that way you can flip it up you can articulate it in a bunch of different ways it's getting caught in my mic cord but that's okay and it also came with this really cool little tripod that just opens up like this and on the front here I don't know if you can see it but it has a detachable remote that Bluetooth to the camera so I can hit record while I'm hiking something like that it really comes in handy it also came with a 24 to 50 millimeter lens it's a kit lens uh, the reviews say the lens works pretty good uh, the drawback of this camera is that the battery life is not that great for video it chews up battery life like nobody's business I like to shoot in 4k in 4k 24 this thing you've got maybe 30 minutes of record time in 4k 60 is which is what I really like to shoot in you've got even less than that that's why the GoPro is gonna be my primary camera and I'll be using this for b-roll like any scenic overlooks like waterfalls mountain views wildlife anything that I need some zoom to get in closer for shorter video clips I'll be using this I also discovered my love of landscape photography when we were in Colorado and this 24 to 50 millimeter it's kind of a wider angle lens I'll be using this for landscape for vlogging or if I do vlog with this and with the zoom the GoPro doesn't have zoom the new 11 and 12s they have or I think the 12 has zoom I'm not sure about the 11 but speaking of zoom we're going to Yellowstone Yellowstone National Park is known for wildlife so I got this it is a Canon 100 to 400 telephoto lens now this is Canon's budget lens and I got the lens hood for it that fits here being a budget lens don't let that fool you this lens comes very very highly recommended by several professional photographers on YouTube I did my research the image quality is fantastic the autofocus is just sticky sticky and it tracks really really well this should be a good entry-level lens for me to get into wildlife photography while we're in Yellowstone also 100 to 400 can be used in landscape photography as well if I want to zoom in on a particular mountain peak or something like that this will help me do it these two lenses will up my content game this season coming up and I'll be able to take better pho photographs be able to provide better content for you guys 
so that's what I got here also this EOS R8 it's a 24 megapixel camera a lot of the features it's Canon's entry level full frame mirrorless camera but a lot of the features of this camera are the same as the more expensive R6 Mark II it has uh, it's uh, like I said it's 24 megapixel but the autofocus and everything in this camera is the same as a more expensive one the only thing this camera lacks is IBIS internal body image stabilization the camera itself doesn't have it you're gonna have to rely solely on your lens image stabilization that's one of the drawbacks of this but this whole little kit right here the mic the tripod the little remote and the camera itself was about 1500 1600 bucks which I don't think is too bad for me to step up my game and just kind of you know get into that you know photography world with a little bit of a better camera uh, oh you might be wondering what I'm wearing this also goes with the Canon I got this this is from cotton carrier systems this is one of their chest slings and when I'm out hiking I need a way to carry this thing around with me. and this is how I'm gonna carry it comes with a little bracket that you attach here on your tripod mount and it just fits in like this turns and uh, sit up it's turns and it's not going anywhere it's not coming out it does have a little lanyard that you can attach to the camera that hooks to the best so if it does come out it will catch your camera and if something pops up on me like a wildlife or something like that all you do is spin lift up and shoot really easy great way to carry your camera around with you on the hiking trail or if you're out sightseeing I mean I can barely feel that it's there and it also has a strap here at the bottom like when I have my longer lens on me and it's hanging down they have a strap that comes across that you can also secure it here's another really neat feature with this I don't know if you'd be able to see it in this little pouch right here is a rain hood for the camera so if it starts raining all I gotta do is I'm not gonna pull it out uh, but you just open this up pull out the rain hood cover your camera and now your camera's protected so I thought this was a really good buy and I got it like a demo sale from cotton carriers and normally I think this thing retails 120 I got it for like 75 uh, this budget lint RF 100 to 400 lens was about 625 and like I said the creator kit was about 1500 so um, let's move on to my drone I've had a lot of people ask me about drone they like my drone footage this is an older drone this is the DJI Mavic Air 2 and I don't feel the need to upgrade this drone just has worked great for me if it's real easy to fly uh, the you don't get a whole lot of fly time out of one battery but it's enough to get some really good footage I've got two batteries for it so I can really get up there and fly really would like to get a couple more shoots in 4k just great camera no need to upgrade with that because uh, right now channel small I'm on a budget I have these or little ND filters that fit on the front of the camera so if it's really bright sunshine outside I can pop one of these on to help uh, get better image quality uh, to go with the GoPro I have the big monster selfie stick with I mean it's got some reach on this thing and I mean it can go out even further than this so I use this in my Florida vid videos when I was snorkeling to try to get up close to the fish on the hiking trail I use these if you watch my hiking uh, Colorado playlist and I got my hiking sticks I use the trail buddy hiking sticks they were very inexpensive on Amazon they're uh, I believe aluminum uh, this is uh, for like concrete it's also a protective cover and if I can get it off yeah, this is your spike mud puck and it comes with your snow pucks or snow discs all that just screws on it helps kind of get into the snow a little bit gives you better traction 
These have helped me out tremendously on the hiking trail, uh, especially some of those trails up in Colorado. I don't know how I would have done it without those hiking sticks. The trail was very, very steep, but those work great. And they were very inexpensive. And last up is my backpack. This is a Z Sear Army Tactical backpack. It has multiple compartments. And it has a section here that holds my camelback. And I got the tube running here. And I got it strapped to my front strap. And here I got my bear spray going to Yellowstone. Definitely need the bear spray with the grizzlies out there. But that's basically it for my gear that I'm gonna that I've been using new stuff that I'm gonna use for Yellowstone coming up this season um, none of these products or affiliates or sponsors of the channel my channel is way too small for all that but this is just what I use so you guys have an idea uh, if you like this video please give me a thumbs up like I said in the beginning don't forget to hit that subscribe button ring the bell for notifications because that Yellowstone Summer of Adventure 2024 is coming there's gonna be a lot of great content from Yellowstone also I'm gonna be work camping at the Cody KOA holiday in Cody Wyoming which is right outside the east entrance of Yellowstone there's gonna be a lot of tremendous content from Cody I mean just uh, Cody is the home of Buffalo Bill Cody and there's just so much Western and Native American history there so much good content to come but thank you all so much for watching and like we say in Louisiana, les les bons temps roulés. Let the good times roll, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.